Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. So this week I'm pulling an overarching uh, tarot card even. <laughs> Couldn't get my words out then quickly enough. And um, I'll be using then two sets of tarot cards for the main reading with an oracle card at the end. So this is the Tarot Grand Lux, one of my favourite card decks second only to Rider Waite of course okay so what do we have for Libra please angel spirits guides message for our lovely Librans it'll be 3rd to the 9th of May 2021 message for Libra thank you angels spirits guides Okay, card is turned over. Oh, <laughs> I like the Knight of Coins. Lovely energy, the Knight of Coins. Um, can be Virgo as well. Could be a Virgo in your life, but um, it, it's also uh, a really nice energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Libra, and then we'll clarify as we always do and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have for Libra? Our lovely Librans, and it will be 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What is the message for Libra? Message for Libra. The star in the challenge position. <laughs> this is the advice from Spirit, the Ace of Wands, Libra. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Libra, please. Let's go deeper into the message for Libra, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table, Angel Spirits Guides, for Libra 3rd to the 9th of May 2021? interesting look nice uh, there's change coming for you uh, you know that could be love that could also be in terms of money okay let's clarify these cards what do we have for Libra thank you starting with the star in the challenge position oh okay Three cards. So we have the Eight of Cups. Oh, four cards. <laughs> We've got the Fool, the Hermit, and the Page of Cups. Ace of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. I've got the Three of Swords again. Bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Three of Swords twice. I mean, Three of Swords is Libra in energy, so it doesn't surprise me. I'm going to clarify this Three of Swords twice, please. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles here, and I'm going to clarify the Knight of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles, I mean, it, it can mean other things, but Germany has a monetary, a more material monetary edge to it. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups for Libra, thank you. Hangman. Okay, Libra. It feels more of a monetary edge to this, I have to say, Libra, but I'm definitely getting, I mean, you know, I'll, I generally kind of say in these readings what I feel. So there, if there's more than kind of like an additional interpretation, I'll put that out there too, because it's meant to be. So, the Knight of Coins is um, 
Very good in terms of money, career, business. Um, can be somebody making you an offer, offering you a job, offering you, could be incoming money, um, a client, a contract, new business win, you know, call it what you will. It, it's an abundant energy and this is a result of a lot of hard work. And I know you're working hard here, Libra, because I can see the Eight of Pentacles, which is a sign of exceptional hard work. Um, but you're going to get the results and that's what you're saying. I mean, it feels very, very good in terms of money career. Now, yes, this can also be because it's Virgo energy. It can be an opportunity to get back on track. So potentially in terms of matters of the heart, there could be a new opportunity here. It feels like a new opportunity um, to open your heart to somebody new. Because the Knight of Cups can be an expression of love, somebody revealing their feelings, and the Knights bring change. But, you know, the Knight can also be to do with creative opportunities, something that you absolutely want, something that's close to your heart, you know? So, I mean, like I said, these are general readings. Take what resonates with you. Because... Even though you have been healing, I mean, some of you may have decided to walk away. It, it feels like some of you walked away from a situation. Whatever context this resonates for you, this is about taking that leap of faith in towards a new beginning. Um, it might have been quite spontaneous as well. Uh, but the, the Hermit is a card of healing, uh, finding answers from within in how you need to move forward. And certainly with that star card, there's new hope. There's new hope coming your way. Uh, there's blessings from the universe. This is a sense of reasons to be optimistic, have faith, trust in the journey. You're on the right path. This is an absolute energy of also believe in miracles because you're being given blessings and divine wish fulfillment. So it's a lovely, lovely energy, the star energy. Um, it feels whatever decision that you made here, Libra, I mean, you made it, you made the right, it feels like some of you have made the right decision, even though there could have been some kind of challenge, you know, it feels like you made the right decision for you, because again, that page of cups, it can be to do with things are looking up, it can just be a happy energy, a sense of something unexpected coming your way, something just maybe landing in your lap, now that could be something to do with an offer, to do with your heart and soul, um, love can be creative opportunity, like I said. The pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And it feels for some of you, what you walked away from, you're walking towards something that is is absolutely meant to be because this is, the stars are aligned. You are absolutely going in the right direction. So don't doubt that. But it feels like it's been a challenge in dealing with whatever you walked away from in order to find the way forward. But there's definitely an energy with that page of cups, things are looking up. I mean, it's a, it's a really nice, innocent, feel good energy, the page of cups and, you know, um, like I said, it can be in terms of love, creative opportunity, something close to your heart. Uh, it can be messages, you know, a message coming in. So, you know, two pages, It feels like whatever this page is bringing in is something concrete because, you know, the page of pentacles is, it can be to do with money, career, financial, a message to do with money, career, financial opportunity. So again, some kind of positive message could be a little bit unexpected here, but it's, it, it brings you just unexpected joy. It lifts your spirits unexpectedly when you've been trying to heal you know, it feels in this energy, whatever you walked away from and focused on a new path and focused on your healing, there are reasons to be optimistic here because it feels some kind of unexpected, you know, news is coming your way. And the page of, pen the page of pentacles, it can be to do with skills development. If you've been learning a new trade, if you've changed your career or learned additional skills or got more qualifications it can be you might have you know used your time wisely uh, to be more attractive in the job market um but the pages are also about i just want to give it a go you know um this is something that is of value to me i want to give it a go um and see where it leads so like i said 
it's interesting the knight of cups holding the cup and we have the knight of coins holding the pentacle um two pages and two knights so there's definitely the beginnings of something new here for some of you and it's change it's bringing it feels positive unexpected change the ace of wands is something connected to your heart and soul absolutely a new door that you want to take action through um it's this is what you want to take action towards now yeah like i said could be some opportunity whatever it means to you here libra um but it feels exciting and it's given to you by the hand of god the divine the universe and this what you're looking at holds potential for real growth and success long term um this is absolutely beautiful now yeah like i said this can be to do with a passion a spark um a feel good energy you know uh, so yeah very good in terms of love very also good in terms of very good in terms of uh money career as well it promises real growth and success the ace of wands um beautiful beautiful energy if you take action and put your energy in this direction there is absolutely the promise of success here uh, the ones are all about power and potential and the need to take action and follow those passions and desires and go where it leads you know it's that kind of energy so it, it definitely feels there's just an energy here whatever this is you're being told between these two pages yeah it might be a little bit unexpected you might not feel you're ready for it certainly in terms of love romance relationships but just give it a go it's a light-hearted energy what harm can it do so it definitely feels whatever situation you're being told to consider this because the three of swords appearing twice in your reading libra you've been tested this can be the test in terms of relationships in whatever context money career love romance family friends call it what you will it's a card of emotional pain it's a card of where you have been through a testing time and it's been hurtful there could have been some truth that came to light here can be third party situations heartbreak i mean there's levels to this card but the fact that it's come out twice there's a kind of message here that greater value is coming into your life in whatever context um, where you're putting your energy and time and focus this is very very good in terms of money career finances um, this is about don't let the boundary of that hurt stop you from getting back on track stop you from focusing on the things that are going to break bring greater value into your life and allow healing to come your way um, because as we work through in a practical sense it's almost kind of like the external world sometimes has to lead it's interesting because you know this can be about when we work through a situation when we when we focus in a mundane way almost you know in terms of doing the practical things that we need to do to bring gain and greater value into our lives and more money and material gain there's an energy of the external what our external action can change our internal energy and i'm definitely feeling that with you this is you working through a situation of what has been great it feels great hurt because there's two sort two three of swords here um and understanding how to lead and change your energy from within and focus on the things that are going to bring you greater value uh, you might have thrown yourself into similarly you know similarly you know one can feed the other you know if you have had challenges in relationships you might have thrown yourself into work you know it's that kind of energy um but the eight of pentacles can be a card of uh, apprenticeships internships working through a situation and bringing positive change into your life and it can be a card of material gain getting noticed getting recognized as well so it's doing what you need to focus on to deal with this you're almost like understanding how to work with 
the testing energy that you've experienced by focusing on what is going to bring you greater value and putting your energy in the right direction. And the Knight of Coins is saying, yeah, and that's why you're getting the reward because you focused on the right things for you to get you back on track. Yeah. So the Hanged Man is a card of limbo. It's a card of surrender. It's a card of um, letting go as well. And just, it can be about, it hangs from the tree of knowledge. And in order to gain wisdom, illumination from the universe, God, the divine. So for some of you, the hanged man can be, you know, changes in relationship can put us in periods of limbo. Um, waiting between jobs, you know, can put us in periods of limbo. So whatever, you know, health areas can put us in periods of limbo. Whatever this experience for you, it feels the wait is over. Because for some of you, an offer is coming your way. Can be an expression of love, can be an offer, an opportunity that brings you great happiness. Maybe something that you've been working towards here, Libra. Um, but it definitely feels, you know, the change, what you've been waiting for, the change that you've been working towards, it definitely feels for some of you, you are getting noticed, you are getting recognised. It, it really feels very beautiful, this, this Knight of Coins with the Knight of Cups, because it's bringing in real happiness, um, joy, positive change in your own internal energy as well. And it definitely feels in this situation, somebody is about to make you an offer that brings change to your situation. And it feels much, much needed change. Um, very lovely energy. So I'm going to pull you a final card. It's, it's change is coming. Change is coming. I mean, the nights when I shuffled and parted the cards, you know, where I cut the cards is just as important as the cards on the table. So if I notice them, your change is coming. Yeah, you see, that is the Eight of Pentacles energy. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've merely been thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. Lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful uh, week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.